take a look at the Mets and the Braves. And uh, Taiwan Walker going for the Mets. And Charlie Morton going for the Braves today. The current line on this is minus 143 at BetUS. Uh, Mets plus 128. Eight and a half is the total here. Shaded towards the over. A lot of money coming in on over. Eight and a half. Minus 125 uh, right now. Looking at this pitching matchup, guys, I got two inconsistent pitchers that I'm looking at. I look at Charlie Morton. He's been very inconsistent in his last five games. It's kind of funny if you look at his pattern. Every other game, Charlie Morton got lit up in his last five, and he's given up at least four runs in those games. And two of the three, he's given up five runs. Uh, same thing when you look at uh, Taiwan Walker. Two starts ago, this guy lasted one inning, gave up eight earned runs. He's given up uh, 16 runs in his last four starts. For me, very hard game to handicap. We like the offenses, but I don't like either starting pitcher here. Jeff, some thoughts? Yeah, I, I hear you, but I will say this. I mean, why are the Mets a dollar thirty dogs? I, I don't really understand this. I can understand if they're facing Strider or some high level starter. I mean, Charlie Morton. I'm not. You talk about a guy that's just an average middle of the road guy this year. Look, I know Walker's not been good, and that's part of the reason. But as we keep saying, some of the intangibles, I just. I think the Mets are just better. Look, these two teams are very good. They're very similar. I just think the Mets are a better overall team, all, all, in all honesty. And I think if you're going to get them as a dollar thirty dogs, I might have some interest. But you know, you're really grass for straws, I think, when you bet games like this. There's not a ton of value here in either. As you alluded to, TC, you know, both these pitchers are concerning. I just look at Morton. I feel like he's a little bit more long-term concerning. But I think Mark is going to tell us right now that his number has this at like $1.15, $1.20. Um, there's no value in it. Base winner? No, you know, I actually like the Braves here. I, You know, Taiwan Walker needs to prove a little bit more to me. And you mentioned, TC, the inconsistencies with both these guys. And Walker is super inconsistent. One of the things that's somewhat alarming to me if they're going to go with Walker, if I was a Mets fan, I guess, is how he fares against good teams. And, you know, I mentioned I put together that log cutter, and it's taken me, oh, probably good, a good three to four weeks to do that. But one of the reasons I do that is because I want to see how these guys do versus good teams. So over the last two years, this Walker – versus teams with a, where the base runs created uh, over one or more. So uh, above average teams, this guy's got a 135 base winner adjusted run number, and that's super concerning. So I think that the only thing that kept me off of this for the show was, you know, you mentioned Morton is inconsistent. And, uh, you know, playing against the Mets really is is not, I don't think, something that you should do right now. I think that that, that team is... I don't know. I don't know if it's magic, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, you know, I, I, I use numbers quite a bit. The numbers say play the Braves here. But I think that there's something going on with this Mets team, TC. So for the show, I'm going to hold off on it. Yeah, if I had to make a play here, and I might dabble into this a little bit later on today, do a little more homework. But I agree with Jeff. I think it's the Mets are a live dog here. There's plenty of value here. And I'll take Walker, uh, despite that eight-run outing that I talked about two starts ago, over uh, Charlie Morton. And again, if we're going to go with his pattern, uh, he's due for that four or five runs uh, given up and, and the Mets bats that can't explode. And I, you know, what kind of team are the Mets emotionally? What kind of team are the Mets uh, pride wise after getting blasted the way they did last night? Was it 13 to one, right? Uh, how are they going to come back tonight? So again, I think you're getting a good spot. If you do like the Mets, you're getting plus money going against Charlie Morton, you know, coming off an embarrassing loss like that. Let's see how they react tonight. But if I had to play this game, I think I would lead towards the underdog in the Mets in this one.